All right, we are going to be using tape diagrams to understand percent problems. And then once we've modeled the problem visually with our tape diagrams, we're gonna take that tape diagram and convert it or insert the values into a table and then use some proportional relationship understanding to find the answer. So let's get started with this. So finding the whole, uh, the problem says we've got six apples and these six apples represent, uh, let's see, those six apples represent 30% of the apples in a barrel. How many apples are in the entire barrel? So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to draw a tape diagram that represents this story. So again, we're almost always, I don't know if there's ever an exception, we're gonna begin by thinking about the tape and representing that as 100%. All right, so that entire tape represents 100%. And then we're gonna go back and continue to read this story problem over and over to continually add and flesh out the rest of our picture. So we know that the entire tape is representing 100%. That's kind of like the definition of percent. It's out of 100. And then it says, this is 30% of the apples. So those six apples represent 30%. Well, if this entire tape represents 100%, then I don't know where 30% is. We can estimate. It's, I don't know, it's less than half. And we'll just call this. We'll just say this piece right here represents our 30%. There's our 30%. And we're told that those six apples represents 30%. So those six apples represents 30%. And uh, if those six apples represent 30%, do we have any idea how many apples represent the 100%? Not at this point. So I'm gonna draw it and I'll put in an X this time for our variable. So what do we have? By reading the story, we started with an entire tape diagram that begins with 100%. That's, base, that's our base, that's the start of everything that we're always gonna do. And then through reading the story, we recognize that these six apples represents 30%. So that's what's going on right here, that these six apples represents 30%. And we don't know how many apples are in 100%. So now that we have this understanding of how the problem looks and, and how it's visually represented, what we're going to do is we're going to take that, and I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit, there we go. And I'm gonna connect that pictorial representation with a nice table. And we are going to use the XKY table that we used in our proportions chapter. X times K equals Y. That's our proportion. X times the constant of proportionality is equal to Y. And because we're doing percents, a handy way to think of this is the x value as our whole, the y value as our part, although parents and teachers, if the students get them mixed around, uh, that's totally fine. Uh, so then we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at our picture. All right, and so we're gonna look for some ratios that connect our whole with its part. For example, I can see that 100% is a represents a whole and its associated part is the 30%. So 100% and 30% kind of form a ratio. And and so I'll fill that in. So 100% and 30% form a ratio because 100 percent represents the whole and 30 represents its associated part. And then I can create as many rows of equivalent ratios as I want. And then 
What's another ratio that we can see in our story? Well, we've got a six and an X up here. And we can see that six represents the part and X represents the whole. So we can fill that in. And so we've got X represents the whole and six represents the part. So now we have a table with some equivalent ratios plus some extra lines for us to use as many additional equivalent ratios as we want. And we're gonna find the answer. There's a variety of ways for how we might uh, do this. Oh golly, what might we do? Oh, we might, let's see, we might do, um, oh, heck, I see a quickie. This is easy. Oh, this is super easy. Let's just do vertical. And I can see that, oops, I'm gonna do it in orange. I can see that 30 divided by five gives me six. Automatically, that means 100 divided by five gives me 20. So we now know that there are 20 apples, 20 apples in the entire barrel. Now that's using vertical manipulation. Can we find a constant of proportionality which allows us to go left and right? Well, let's look for that. So remember, and I'll do this in, oh, let's do it in blue. Remember, we know that the whole number times the constant of proportionality is equal to the part. So 100 times some constant of proportionality has to equal 30. So using division, 30 divided by 100, we know that the constant of proportionality has to be 30 hundredths. So that's our constant of proportionality. And so then all we have to do is go down here and we know that our constant of proportionality has to be 30 hundredths. So this says x times 30 hundredths is equal to 6. So what kind of math are we going to do to figure out the value of x? Well, besides the vertical that we've already done, well, we're going to do 6 divided by 30 hundredths is going to give us x because we know that if x times 30 hundredths gives us 6, using division, 6 divided by 30 hundredths gives us x. And so how do we, how do we divide fractions? Well, we just kind of remember that we're going to put 6 over 1. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. And in this case, we're going to get 600 divided by 30. We can divide both numbers by 10, the numerator and the denominator by 10. That gives us 60 over 3, which gives us, and I'm going to squeeze this in, <laughs> gives us 20. So we have a different way of finding or proving that the answer is 20 apples. Let me move that over a little bit. Now, folks, there are tons of other ways that we could have used. In fact, I want to show you a couple just because we can use logic as well, couldn't we? So I'm going to squeeze this in. I'm going to move that way over here. And there's our, our pictorial representation and its associated table right there. But man, there's other ways. Students might have said, well, if six apples is 30, then another six apples is another 30, and then another six apples is another 30. So, so far that gives us 18 apples is 90%. And then students might need to say, well, shh, if these six apples represents 30%, 
Well, that means two apples is 10%, two apples is 10%, and two apples is 10%. So, oh, so if two apples is 10%, that's all we need is 10% more, which is two more apples. And now we can see using addition, 20 apples gives me 100%. Is that the only way? No, in fact, there's still more ways. But really what I want us to get to for this video is this idea, oh, where am I gonna go here? There we go, is this idea, and I want us to go right here, is to recognize that we're gonna start with a tape diagram, and that entire tape represents 100%. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna read the story and reread the story and reread the story to gradually fill in the rest of that pictorial representation. And then once we've got the pictorial representation done, we can create a table and then modify that table or manipulate that table using either vertical thinking or horizontal thinking to figure out our answer. And that wraps up finding the whole.